So be really familiar with the standards we use for recording and collecting data and answer this question. Don't just write down some ideas you have about the practical, about the context. Make sure you've analysed the question itself and you're answering the specifics of that particular question. Okay, so this is an uh, extension practical. Um, they're doing some lace, adding masses to it, calculating the force and then recording the extension. The question just asks you to criticise the recording of these results and this is the type of thing they're going to be doing. They're leaving it quite open, giving you some results, but you need to really pay careful attention to that statement. The recording of the results, not the method, okay? If you read up here, measuring extension each time with a metre rule, okay? We're talking about the recording of it. We're not talking about how it's measured. We're not talking about the accuracy, we're talking about the way they've been recorded down. So let's get three points from this table that we're not sure about. Well, this mass in kilograms, if you've got a top hand balance, then you can definitely measure two uh, whole numbers of grams, maybe even more precise than this. This is not very precise. So we should have more precision on mass. It should be to at least two sig fig. And that's what we need to think about in uh, A-level physics, our precision in terms of numbers of sig fig. Especially if you look at what they've done, they've then times that by 9.81 and they've got this. Well, this is uh, cannot be as precise as three significant figures if this reading is only to one significant figure. That's not fair. We would never do that. Okay, so the next one is the significant figures over here. The precision of extension is inconsistent. Okay, that's enough for the mark there. What do we mean by that? Well, this is to two sig figs, two sig figs, two sig figs. This is okay, even though with a metre ruler, we wouldn't really try and measure to half a millimetre. But again, it's not about the method, it's about the actual recording. But this is only to one sig fig. Okay, so the, the extension is inconsistent the precision. Um, I might, might write first result only to one sig fig just to make it really clear what I'm talking about to the examiner next thing then what else have we got well they've actually said that there's no evidence of in of uh, repeat readings and I don't like that because even though it is not um, about the method we wouldn't repeatedly extend a lace because we don't know whether we're well, our first go we don't know whether we are at the limit of proportionality the elastic limit or not they have compensated for that if you are um, not going to repeat, then you should try and do more readings if possible. So you could have done 0 0.01, 0 0.02, 0 0.05 here and, and above this as well. So if you're not able to repeat, you should use more data points. And I really think actually with most of physics at A level, be thinking about more data points rather than more repeats to give you a more precise trend and then a uh, more, more reliable trend. And then lastly, well, the last possible one is this idea, well, why on earth didn't they do that reading in there? Um, it's okay to use different intervals, but if you do something where you're obviously just adding a 10 gram mass here, there's no reason to miss out something like that. There's no reason to have inconsistent gaps between uh, um, measurements of between our values of the independent variable. So go ahead and actually just think, well, I'm gonna add one at a time, so I've got consistent intervals. Okay, I hope that helped. Well, you only need three of those, but those are four possible marks that you could have got there. So this one is actually asking us about how we should do things accurately. So they've told us the extension should be with a meter ruler. Okay, so it's not about actually changing the Apparatus is not about using, let's say, a um, vernier scale, although we are in the millimeter kind of range, so it might be a problem. With the meter ruler, how should we make it more accurate? Well, the most obvious ones is to use a marker, and we call it a fissidual mark. Okay, that's literally like a little flag, or a little marker, anything that helps you to make sure that you're reading from the exact same position. Okay, that's one possible one. Um, get your eye close to the scale and get the lace close to the scale as well. So 
I close to lace, lace close to scale. What is that about? It's to avoid parallax error. I think those are maybe two of the most obvious ones. Okay, um, but what I really like to see when we're doing Hooke's Law or uh, extension practicals, um, Young Modulus, is that you actually clamp the ruler in place. So clamp ruler in place or fix it in place so that you're sure that zero hasn't moved. Okay. You only need two of these, but there are four possible answers that they've given. Um, and the last one is to uh, make the ruler vertical with a set square. Okay, hope that helps. In that first part, they're asking you about recording data. In the second part, they're asking you about changes to the method. Okay, you've got to make sure that you're really resilient in figuring out what the examiner wants for this particular question.